everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith. Thank you so much for being here. Today I am taking you through my top 10 liquid lipstick formulas that you can get in store or online right now. These are just my favorite overall formulas. I did just do a full lip product declutter. I will link those down below if you want to check those out. But now that I have everything organized and I can kind of see what I have and what I like, I figured this would be a great time to do a liquid lipstick video where I show you my top 10 formulas. About a year ago, I did do a strictly drugstore liquid lipstick video where I talked about my favorite drugstore liquid lipsticks and there are some affordable and drugstore liquid lipsticks in the 10 that I'm going to talk about but this is more of an all-encompassing best liquid lipsticks that you can find on the market so let's get right on into it so the first liquid lipstick I'm going to talk about is the most long-lasting amazing liquid lipstick. I think when people think of a liquid lipstick, like a matte liquid lipstick, that's the biggest thing you're going for. At least it was for me when I was first getting into them. It was, how long is this going to last on my lips? Am I going to have to reapply it? And with this one in particular, you do not have to reapply this at all throughout the day. And this is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Long Wear Lipstick. It's a very long name. That's like the only thing I don't like about it. But I have three shades here. This is a red, the shade is Lady Balls, and then I have two nudes. And there's really not too many other light nudes in the range other than these two. I wish there were even more shades, but both of these shades I really do like. This one is Sellout. And this one is Child Star. Here's Child Star. Sellout is just a little bit deeper and a little bit more warm. And then you've got Lady Balls, which not a huge fan of that name either, but that's okay. That is my favorite red lipstick. This was definitely one of the lipsticks I talked about in my favorite red lipsticks video. This is so good, but the nudes are awesome as well, and the formulation is consistent across all of the shades. They have a ton of other shades, not too many other nudes, like I said, but they have a bunch of other shades that you can choose from. Everything will be linked down below, of course, so if you want to do a little shopping spree while you watch, go for it. But I wanted to mention these first because, like I said, I think that when it comes to liquid lipstick, what most people are looking for is longevity, and of everything I'm going to talk about, the longevity on these is the best. The one con I guess I would say with these is you might notice your lips the next day feel a bit dry, but at least while you're wearing them, your lips don't dry out. There are some liquid lipstick formulas that your lips just feel like sucked of all hydration. I don't really think these do that, but they definitely don't help your lips like long term. If you were to wear these every day, your lips would really dry out. I do have some matte liquid lipsticks in this video that don't do that, that are more on the hydrating side that I'll get to, but all in all, I highly, highly recommend it. The next liquid lipstick that I want to talk about is one that has been discussed for years as a really good formula, and it definitely is. It's very popular. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick Formula. This is the shade Pure Hollywood. This is my favorite shade from the brand in their liquid lipstick formulation. It's just like the perfect, perfect nude. This can look a little bit dry though. So you want to make sure that your lips are really hydrated, have maybe been exfoliated, because this one can tend to make your lips look a little crackly towards the center by the end of the day. So just keep that in mind. You just have to stay moisturized, but these will last a really long time and they have so many shades. Like I think of all of the liquid lipsticks that I'm going to talk about today, I would guess that the Anastasia Beverly Hills line of liquid lipsticks has the most shades to choose from. There's something for everyone, and the formula is really good. When I think of a liquid lipstick, this is definitely one of the first ones I think of. It's just been around for so long. It's really popular, and it is popular for a reason. It really is good. If you haven't tried these yet, I definitely recommend trying them. Again, they might lean a little bit dry, but this is actually pretty close to the Too Faced formulation. It's just a little bit more drying on me at least. I also noticed that there's a lot of these these days at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So if you have a TJ Maxx or Marshalls, 
check it out and see if they have any of the liquid lipsticks from Anastasia Beverly Hills there and you can get them for a much better price. Next up I have a very new liquid lipstick to talk with you guys about. This has just come out in the last month or so and it's actually one I am wearing right now. So these are the new liquid lipsticks from Deck of Scarlet. I have done a video on Deck of Scarlet on my channel in the past. If you don't know what they are, what they're most known for is their little palettes that they send out monthly, I believe it is monthly, yeah. And it's like a subscription service makeup sort of thing where they send out a palette that normally has like a highlighter, a blush, three or four eyeshadows, and then a lip product. So it's like a little set of makeup that you can make a few looks out of and they send that to you monthly. You also can go back like in the past months and just purchase a palette. You don't have to do the subscription service, but that's really what they're known for. But their newest service is these liquid lipsticks that they send out in trios on a subscription basis, or you can just buy the trio. So this is the trio that is currently available. The one I'm wearing right now is this one here. It is called Brunch Babe. I love it. It's a little bit pinky, but it's not too bright. I actually think this will be really pretty in the summer. Obviously it's currently winter, but I was just really drawn to this shade. But the trio also comes with Moody Mauve and this red shade called Siren. So let me swatch these here. These have a really nice scent to them, almost like juicy fruit or something like that. And what I like about this formulation is it's super thin, so it dries down matte really quickly. This is the mauve shade, and this is the red shade, and then I'm wearing that like lighter pink shade right now. I really like these. Again, they're new to the market, so I don't know if many people have tried them yet, but I really, really love these. And I do want to say thank you to Deck of Scarlet because they are sponsoring this video. Yay! I don't do many sponsored videos on this channel. Shout out to Deck of Scarlet. Thank you for sponsoring this video and I hope that you guys learned something about the brand and it's kind of like a win-win for both of us. So as with everything else, I will link down below how you can get this trio, but let me just quickly show you the three other shades that are in the full collection. So here is the little packaging here. Now these three I've already shown you. So let me show you these three guys right here. There is a bright pink. It is called Trouble. I kind of love that name. Then this shade, Slow Jams, really, really like this shade. The consistency of these is so thin, yet so pigmented. That's Slow Jams right there, that brownie shade. I love a thin liquid lipstick formula because it feels a lot lighter on the lips, but sometimes with a thin consistency, you won't get as much pigment, but these are super pigmented, which is awesome. And then this is the other shade. This is called Sin, and this is more of like a purpley shade. Really love these. Love the packaging as well. So pretty. I really do love this brand, especially if you're into subscription services as well. It's kind of fun to get new makeup monthly, and it's not too expensive, I believe, to get the three in a subscription service sort of deal. It's like 30 or 40 bucks. So again, everything will be down below for you to check that out. Thank you to Deck of Scarlet. And let's continue on with my other favorite liquid lipsticks. Next, I wanna talk about these guys right here. These are from Stila. These are the Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. These were the first liquid lipsticks that I fell in love with. They're very, very long lasting without making your lips too, too dry. My only gripe with these is they keep discontinuing shades and I don't know why. My favorite shade was Angelo and I'm so glad I still have quite a bit left of this, but this is not available anymore. So I feel bad even showing it to you guys, but it's so, so beautiful. Just love that shade. I don't know why they discontinued it, so I'm really upset about that. And then I also have this shade here. I actually, I have a bunch. You guys probably saw it in my declutter. I kept them all, but I wanted to show you guys one other shade that's a little bit brighter. This is the shade Tesoro. They only have maybe 10 to 12 shades on their site right now. And I don't even know if Tesoro is one of them. So that's one of my complaints about this liquid lipstick. It's one of the cons is I just can't keep up with which shades are in and out. And I don't like that because I really enjoy especially this Angelo shade. But the formulation is really good. So if you do find a color that you like and it's in stock, I highly recommend it. They're a little bit more of a 
not moussey texture, but they are a little bit thicker. So you want to make sure that when you apply it, you take a lot off the, the applicator and just apply a really thin coat. If you do apply these too thick, they can start to like crack, but if you apply it the right way, these will stay all day, just like the name says, and they look very soft, almost like velvet, very matte formulation, and I really love these. Next, I wanna talk about an affordable brand that has a really good liquid lipstick formula that I think is super underrated. This is from Sleek Makeup. It's their Major Matte Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. These are so good, they're really affordable, and I don't hear enough people talking about them. So this is the shade Velvet Slipper, really nice fall color. This formulation reminds me a lot of the Deck of Scarlet formulation because it's nice and thin, but very, very pigmented. So that burgundy kind of plum shade is Velvet Slipper right here. Really love this. It dries down matte really fast. It does last a good amount of time. It's not as long wearing as the Too Faced one by any means or the Stila or what else did I talk about? The Anastasia Beverly Hills one, but it's really pretty. It dries down matte. It does last a good amount of time and it won't ever feel like thick, if you know what I mean. So really good formulation. I love the affordability of it and I highly recommend it. I don't think enough people talk about these. Let's just stick with some affordable options here. I wanted to talk about Milani. This is their Amore Matte Lip Cream, and this is in the shade Stunning, number 38. You can get this at Walmart, in-store, and online. Um, you can also get Milani in Ulta now, I think, as well. Love this formulation. Very, very pigmented. This formulation of any of the ones I've talked about so far reminds me the most of the Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks because it's a little bit thicker, very pigmented. You just want to make sure that you apply it thinly and it will last a very long time. So that's the shade right there. My only gripe with this line of liquid lipsticks is I wish that they had more shades. This is actually, at least from what I've seen in store and online, this is like the lightest nude. And on me, this is not even really a nude. It's definitely more of a statement lip. So I just wish that they had some more options on the lighter, more neutral side of the spectrum, but the formulation is really good, and I highly recommend it because it's very affordable. The next liquid lipstick I wanna talk about is from Morphe, another very affordable brand. I think this is just called Morphe Liquid Lipstick doesn't have a name on here, but this is the shade Virgin. This is one of the lighter nude shades, and I love this shade. I'm actually going to swatch it by Angelo from Stila because it's pretty similar. So there is Virgin from Morphe. This is the Stila Angelo one that I said was discontinued, but I love it. Very similar. Really good formulation. I think these are like 10 bucks maybe, and I love the packaging. I love the shade. It's just like a perfect nude. These two are my faves, but I did notice that by the end of the day when I wear this, I get like a little bit of that line, you know, that like crackly line right in the center of your lip, but that's kind of to be expected. This is really good and for the price, I highly recommend checking these guys out. Another affordable brand I want to talk about is Carity, and these are their lip locks. These are only $6 and these are really, really good. These are not as long wearing as any of these formulations by any means, but they are very nice and matte and they're so affordable, like $6, you really can't beat that. So I did want to mention these in my top favorites. So this one right here, this deep one right here is Tea Leaves, and then this very light peachy shade is Kiera. They have a ton of other shades. I think there's probably 10 in total, and again, they're six bucks each. So super affordable brand. I do really like these. I do wear them a lot, but you will have to reapply. I just wanna mention that. But because of the price and because of the pigmentation and how matte they are, they're definitely in my top category for liquid lipsticks, and I wanted to bring them to your attention in case you're looking for something really, really affordable. Okay, I have two more formulations to talk about. The next is from Tarte, and it's their Tartus Lip Paint. I'm sure you guys have heard of this. These are really, really good. I should actually get more shades. I only have this one, and then like a mini version I got for, I don't know what it was. It came in a pack or something like that, but this is the shade Obsessed. These last a super long time and it's a nice, thin formula. 
The only thing I will say about this that is not on par with some of the others is I tend to need two coats. And I don't know if it's just this shade or what, but it's a pretty thin formula, which is nice. I guess I'd rather have it go on thin and then have to add more than have it go on super thick and not be able to control it. But some of these others just have a little bit more pigment. I have a feeling it might just be this shade because it's a little bit more of like... I don't know, a deeper, ready, brick, mauve type of shade. I think it's just lacking a little bit in pigmentation. It's definitely still in my top 10 best liquid lipsticks because it's really matte, it dries really fast, it stays a very long time, and it doesn't dry out my lips too much. So I really love this. I think it's a great formula. Definitely check these out if you haven't already. Okay, last liquid lipstick that I want to talk about is from Gerard Cosmetics, and these are their Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I think it's fitting that I talked about these last in contrast with the liquid lipstick that I talked about first, which is the Too Faced one. This is kind of like the opposite of the Too Faced one in terms of the benefits. So the Too Faced one, as I mentioned, is really that like premier, long lasting, standard liquid lipstick that everybody wants to just lock in and not have to worry about. But I wanted to talk about these from Gerard Cosmetics in case you're on the other end of the spectrum and really need something that's gonna be slightly hydrating because your lips are super dry. If that's you, these are going to be your best friend. They give you that matte look, they give you some longevity, but they're hydrating. I don't know how they do it, but they're really, really good. They also have a ton of beautiful nude shades. So I have a bunch here. This is Serenity. This is Nude. This one's really pretty. I'll swatch this for you guys. This is Cher. It's kind of like a plummy pink. It's kind of hard to see because of the frosted glass, but this is Skinny Dip. So let me swatch these for you guys here. These are definitely more moussey feeling, um, hydrating feeling. I love these. They're so pigmented. They literally, your lips end up being better after you use these than before, which normally with a liquid lipstick is not the case. Normally with any liquid lipstick, your lips are not going to feel all that hydrated when you're done wearing it and you take it off. That does vary between formulation in terms of like how bad your lips are actually after you're done, but there's just something different about these that, I don't know, they're super matte, they're super pigmented, they do last a long time. I'd say these last probably around the six to seven hour mark. They're not gonna last all day like the Too Faced one, but if you need hydration but still want that matte look, these are for you. So I've just swatched these. This right here is Skinny Dip. Right above it is Nude. That's probably my favorite one. This one right here. And then we have Cher and Serenity. And like I said, these are just four of these shades. They have a lot of shades. Aside from Anastasia Beverly Hills, like I said, how they have so many shades, this formulation probably comes in second when it comes to that. They have a lot of really, really good shades. So if you are looking for something hydrating, but still gives you that longevity matte liquid lipstick type of feel. I highly recommend these. I do have a discount code with Gerard Cosmetics and I do make a commission off of that. If you're comfortable with that and you want to get a discount, I will link everything down below so that you can get that discount. I think it's like 30% off. It's a really good discount. So these I believe are $20 each. So with 30% off, I'm not going to do that math in my head, but it's like what, 16 bucks, 17 bucks maybe. I don't know. I'm just guessing. But I'll link these down below with that code if you're interested. So those are all of the liquid lipsticks that I wanted to share with you guys today. My top 10 formulations that you can get right now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you guys. Let me know down below if you want me to make this into a series and maybe do a best of or top 10 in some other category, whether it's foundations, eyeshadows, I don't know. I've decluttered everything, as you guys know, from my declutter series that I did last month. Everything's nice and organized, and I can really see what I love and what I use. And so if you want me to do more videos like this, just let me know. Give me some ideas down in the comments. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love that. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!